How have you seen uh, Tanner Jones continue to progress? I know he's yeah. in high in innings. Uh, does it feel like he's continuing yeah. to perform? Yeah, he's, he's, that, was, uh, that was about as good as he's pitched. I, th I thought last week was pretty good. He had the cutter going a little bit. Um, you know, he had all three pitches for the most part. That's the deepest he's pitched. Remember, he missed most of the preseason, so he's still kind of he's behind everybody else in terms of appearances and, and innings pitch. But uh, yeah, he did well against a, a good lineup and a tough night to pitch. Uh, the offense, the relentlessness of it. What can be said about it after another? Stop yeah, well, game? obviously those guys at the top, those the, the star power guys. You know, they brave and those guys are going to do their thing most days. Um, the key is, can we get on get on base enough? At, Towards the bottom, and Ali had a great night. Shot, you know, sh is showing signs of coming back. Uh, Sorrell, obviously, him staying on baseballs uh, the other way is a big sign for a young player like that. Um, and I, I thought Targot, you know, had the you know, first at bat was tough, but smoked the ball to center field, and then the game rewarded him finally down the left field line. So happy for Ryan. And I guess Brad too. I mean, just had that, that was the, things are unraveling, and he yep. goes in there and just unbelievable. Strikes. Yep, and got the lefties out. That, that was that was the key. He, he he got the lefties out, and we gave him the the uh, the lineup card for that because he he held him down in that inning. The entire game could have changed the complete other direction. What do you see from Shane Sadeo tonight? And, uh, what yep. to be a bounce back out? Yeah, he needed that. He he needed the inning that we got him the other night, and I thought it was a good matchup with McMurray. Um, and then he did a good job in the next inning. And then you're sitting there, you know, how do we get three outs in the ninth inning? Do I really want to burn the only lefty? Don't think Ashenbeck, you know, I doubt he's able to maybe give us an inning tomorrow, but I didn't want to burn Shane up eight runs. Um, so, you know, we did take the chance and Brock picked him up. You know, it writes well for us, but is there something to two hitters like Jason Brady who are going swing for swing on, on home runs and just kind of pushing each other that way? Uh, I don't think they're, I mean, Braden doesn't think that way. Uh, I don't think Jace does either. Uh, Braden, you know, he puts together a lot of really good deep at bats, and, and Jace does too. Um, so the, the key is they both take their walks. You know, that's the key. If they just control the strike zone, most of the time, most of the time when those two guys just touch the ball, it's going to go some pretty hard. I thought I thought Jones threw well, but like as you look ahead of next week, like what's maybe the thing you're going to preach to him? Like, hey, this needs to be better. That needs to be better. Uh, I mean, he it just staying power. I think. I think you know he was throwing really hard in the first inning, and when he came off. You know, Max was fired up, and I said, let's see what this looks like in the third or fourth inning. And so just the staying power of, you know, it's hard to tell a guy to hold back. Um, but I thought that, you know, he, he put a lot of energy into the first inning. So he's going to just have to maintain it and make good pitches. He, I thought, he, you know, they don't strike out that much. And so, And we told him, everybody, that going in, the, you're not going to get Ike Irish out outside of the strike zone. You have to get him out in the strike zone, which is already tough enough. So he, that, I think Tanner, he had a lot of 0-2 counts that ended up being 2-2 and 3-2 counts. And so try to get him out earlier, which you just got to throw more strikes. What's the pitching plan for tomorrow behind Lampkin? Uh, hopefully Lampkin pitched like he did last week. But, I mean, Cortez and Stewart, um, Sadeo can certainly come back. We'll see how Ashenbeck feels. Um, but hopefully Justin can, can do a good job with him, against him. Does it ever surprise you like how good this league is? I mean, Auburn's yeah. a pretty good team. They're, they're a really seven. good team. They're one and seven. They're a really good team. I mean, it can yeah. just in an instant, in an instant, just a couple, couple, a couple swings, an injury, and you or, or or it can go the other way. You know, you can get on a quick roll like some like we've seen. So it's just there's no soft touch. At least there's no soft touch that that's on our schedule this year in the SEC, and that's why they're all just. They're monumental games. Every single pitch, even up when Stanfield caught that ball, instead of it dropping, in the, that would have ended the game. That would have been the 10-run rule. But here we are. The what tying run was on in the hole. Uh, so that's that's how it, it can change in an instant. So you got to win them when you can win them. All right.